welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new i'm clara so right now i'm prepping my pie crust um this is my little recipe i'm gonna link the video that i got this from i just prefer to write it down than have to constantly be going back to a video so right now in this red bowl i have five pounds of flour this is like an amish recipe so everything's huge um so I have five pounds of flour, I need one and a half cups powdered sugar, two tablespoons salt, one tablespoon baking powder, and three pounds of lard. And then this is like shelf stable technically. So yeah. <laughs> so let's add our powdered sugar. And if you guys saw my video before this, you'll know we literally just bought this powdered sugar for this exact reason. <laughs> I'm really hoping this crust comes out because, I mean, this is five pounds of flour that I'm using. That would be a really big waste. Okay. I was seeing in the comments that people were like, I wonder if it would be bad for savory pies. But I'm like, it's half a cup of sugar. It's not going to kill it. I need salt. Two tablespoons of salt. <laughs> My tablespoon's over there. Let me go get them. Okay, so then now I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. And like this girl, she like roughly measured everything. Okay, one. Two, so more than two. One tablespoon baking powder. That's cornstarch. Baking powder. This is baking soda. What's baking powder? Powder is different. Oh, baking powder. And you're a baker, dog? I am, in fact, not a baker. <laughs> no. You're hanging out with me. Almost done. And then three pounds of lard. So, people were asking if you could use Crisco in the video, like in the comment section. Ignore my messy kitchen. Um, and she didn't reply to a single comment. And it's like, dog, I need to know. Um, my hands are clean, don't worry. So I'm just going to mix together my dry ingredients a little. A rough mix before I add my lard. And then that's literally it. You just put it in an airtight container and call it a day. Um... I'm not going to do any right now, so in the next video, you'll see me actually, like, use it. But, um, I like to do that. Oh, well, you can't see it in the video. At least I don't think you can. Um, okay. What was I saying? Oh, so to use this, like, pie mix, because this is, like, the dry pie mix, basically. Um, how do you open this? Oh, I got it. I think I'm going to, like, Cube it up to make it a little easier. Let us see, let us see. Mm, I don't know. I feel like cubing it up sounds smart. Let's do that. Um. Oh, so you just take a cup. So for every cup of, um, like, dry mix you use, you're going to use two tablespoons of milk. That's what the girl says. Oh, but yeah, I was saying earlier, like, I hope this works out because this is a lot of ingredients. Um, so yeah. Tomorrow, I'm going to do, like, a whole day of baking. But like I said, they're all going to be probably separate videos. Um, because I can get, like, five videos out of that one day. And that's like, boom, why not? I kind of hate lard. It's like, ugh. The idea of it's gross. Everything's gross. But I'm the same way with butter. And it's like, dude, it's literally just, like, what is butter made out of? Milk? No? Yeah. I don't even know what lard's made out of. I don't want to know, so don't tell me. Don't care to know. Sorry, this is going to take me a quick second. I'll probably, like, speed run through this. I'm going to see my, like, mouth moving, but not hear nothing. 
But yeah, I'm going to link the video that I got this from. Okay. And then I need to do three pounds. Each one of these little boxes is one pound. So, so I have to do three of them. We use the same lard during Christmas when we make tamales, which maybe I'll do a video this year. I probably actually won't just because of the pregnancy. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling around that time of year because, but yeah, literally Christmas Day, I'll be exactly nine months. I'll be a month away from my due date. And... So I don't know how I'll be feeling, like if I'm going to be up to like recording, at least that part, you know what I mean? I'm literally so excited. There was like a little like part of me that was like, oh, I hope my baby comes early because I am such a Christmas person. I adore Christmas. I mean, it's my favorite holiday. It's literally Christmas, Valentine's Day, and then Easter. And you want to know why I like I love Easter, honestly? One, because I love rabbits. They're literally one of my favorite animals. Rabbits and cats, they're like hand in hand for me. Like, it's not like I prefer one over the other. Well, pet-wise, I'll be honest, I prefer cats because if you've ever owned a rabbit, you know how high maintenance they are. And it's so enjoyable, but it's also like... At least the rabbits I've had. I've seen some rabbits that are very like, ooh, hold me, hold me. But my rabbits, even if I held them as little babies, they were like, touch me and I'll gouge your eyeballs out. So that kind of sucked. And like cats, you know, like <laughs> they love you no matter what. So yeah, for like having as a pet, I do honestly prefer rabbits. Um, Or no, cats. Sorry, I prefer cats. Also, I know I'm not wearing an apron. I should be wearing an apron, but we just went out to eat. And I've already stained this dress with barbecue. So, who knows if that's going to come out. But at this point, I kind of don't care. But that's okay. I have a lot of stained dresses. And it just, like, for me, it's what it is. I only have very few articles of clothing that I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm actually going to die. Because they got, like, dirty and stained. It's going to suck to have to wash my hands after this. Because you got to wash in, like, really hot water for it to actually feel like it's coming off. Um. Oh, but, like, I really like Easter because of, like, the whole rabbits. And, like, Jesus, yeah, don't get me wrong. But it's because my grandma, um, before she passed, one of the last things she gave me was a gray rabbit with a blue ribbon. And it's because Zootopia had just come out. And I loved Judy Hopps when Zootopia came out. And so she was trying to find a, like a Judy Hopps stuffed animal for me. Um, even though I was pretty grown. <laughs> but you know, to like a grandparent, you're never, you're never a big kid. You're always a baby. Um, but she was trying to find me a Judy Hopps thing. And I feel like when Zootopia first came out, they really didn't make like a lot of merchandise, I guess I would say. So she couldn't find me anything, but she found that gray rabbit with a blue ribbon so she gifted that to me and it was quite a bit also after easter so like it was surprising that she found that gray rabbit but yeah that's literally um why i also love easter because it reminds me of my grandma that got really sad and sorry <laughs> okay let me throw this away I'm just gonna raise my hands. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Cause I've gotta mix it by hand. I didn't think about that. It's okay. It is what it is. This is like one of those little points where I'm kinda like, dang, I wish I had gloves. <laughs> I really hope this container has a lid. I'm pretty sure it does. I think I just have to like scrounge around for it. <laughs> I'm like folding the wallpaper on top. I'm not. The girl was like crumbling it, and I'm like, 
okay. My mom sent me this recipe, which is funny because literally the day she sent it to me, I was literally thinking, I think like 30 minutes before she sent it to me, like, huh, oh, maybe I should make like homemade pies this year for Thanksgiving. And then she sent me that recipe and I was like, how funny. Like it was just meant to be, I guess. Also, I'm kind of trusting this recipe because I was like reading some of the comments and like I said, this lady was not replying. And I'm like, girl, how are you gonna post this video and not reply to anything? Just because like people have questions about it and post this is your recipe. Even if it's not originally yours, like this is how they know this recipe through you. So it's like, like you need to answer these questions. I don't know any Amish people, you know? Cause she was like ex Amish, she's not Amish anymore. I think, I don't know, I don't follow her, I just stole this video. <laughs> um, what's it called? What was I saying? Oh, that a lady was saying she got literally like the same exact recipe from a Mennonite like when she was young, and that she's been using it for like 64 years. And I was like, hey, that's pretty trustworthy, in my opinion. <laughs> so literally, from that one lady's comment, I was like, I'm gonna make a whole five pounds of this so please lady i want to say her name was doris but i feel like i just want to say that because it was an older lady <laughs> i'm pretty sure her name was not doris but i hope your comment does in fact not fail me i'm gonna have to speed this up because it's taking me forever damn this girl made it look easy <laughs> Was it too early to put Christmas music in as a background? Probably. I love Christmas, literally. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm over here like, I'm gonna put music in the background and I just keep talking. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my gender reveal video. It's a girl, if you haven't seen it. Sorry, I probably ruined that for you, but surprise. I posted it as like a short because I was gonna make a video out of the day, but it just got so crazy busy that I didn't have any time to like actually film. I literally think I got like five pictures that whole day. And the good thing is a hundred million people were recording, so um this is my fiance coming in if you hear a video right now. But yeah, this is basically what it's gonna come out to. It's not going to get any better or worse than that, really. And yeah, so bye, guys. See you tomorrow when I make a pie. <sighs>